I'd like to uh, thank everybody for taking time today for our web seminar. Ken and I are looking forward to sharing some of the basic concepts with uh, quality risk management to you, some of our uh, industry experience as well laced into that, and essentially to some extent engage you in, in conversation. The course today, what do we want to achieve? We'd clearly like to achieve, on the one hand, giving you an overview as to what is quality risk management as such, and in that overview, how can you actually apply this to, to your work? And, and that application will be focused on clinical trials and, in, in particular, pharmacovigilance. And having given you that, that overview and definition, we will then point out how we can really build that into your regular underlying business processes in a practical way. And so this is very much a, a theory as well as an application course. And in that process indicate to you how quality design approach can, in a practical way, be part of your daily activities by uh, taking that approach and, in fact, uh, designing the quality into your processes up front and then having done that, profiting from that, so reaping the benefits as you go along by having planted that seed. And what that will then indicate later to you is to show how you can leverage that information to support you in your uh, decision-making processes. So that will be reflected time and time again by saying, just take this risk-based approach. Having done that, we can then do things like resource allocation based on risk assessments. And then given the, the standard situation, which we all are confronted with, namely that we have much too much to do and not enough time nor enough resources to do it, how can we prioritize it appropriately? Then given that approach, we need to talk a little bit about how you would actually integrate that into your, your daily uh, affairs at work. So the governance structure, what kind of potential changes need to be made to your organization on the one hand and and how it can be addressing a more risk-based approach. And so uh, toward the latter part of our presentation today, Ken will highlight that in uh, further detail and give you a flavor for what's going on.